It's the Wow Show, Women on Women. I'm Shazmin Shamsudin. I'm Joanne Kampopo. And I'm Ning Zura. <laughs> yes, and it's um, season three of the Wow Show. Yay. We have had a nice long break, haven't we? Oh, yeah. A little bit. A little a bit. bit. <laughs> What's, it long? What's it long? What's it long? <laughs> it's good for like the I mind. I haven't seen you in ages. God, you know? no. God. Um, but but we've seen each other's Instagram. We have. Yes, we, we have. have. And that's the thing. Sometimes with, with uh, mm-hmm. women and friendships and in general, you know, we don't yep. have time in real yeah. life, but mm-hmm. we have time online and we do see each other. But um, today we're going to yeah. talk about women, well, friendships that women have. Yeah. Ooh, We've gone what, okay. 30 years already. Yes. Yep. God. It's been 30 years. Yeah. But it's only now that we have reconnected. Yes. I mean, I know Chaz mm-hmm. yes. from uh, Mix, mm-hmm. you know, where I joined for a little bit. This was like, the 1990s. And, yeah. 1990s. <laughs> as a special guest, you know, for. I think it was a couple of months, right? Yeah, right, yeah. and then after that, you've uh, what do you call it? We've gone our separate ways. Even mm. Ning as well. I remember yeah. uh, very early in uh, my career, 90s, yeah. we kind <laughs> of both 90s. had the same year that we yeah. started, and mm-hmm. then we lost touch and reconnected. So yeah. there's a lot of different friendships, if yeah. you must say, ins yeah. and outs. We enter, mm-hmm. we leave. We enter, mm-hmm. we yeah, leave. We're still friends. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. But, you know, female friendships, there's so many different dynamics of to course. it. Yeah, okay. And um, I guess it's quite different to other types of relationships. Why do you feel or how, what do you think makes it kind of different? Female friendships, mm. it's also the emotions that we're going through. Um, if you look at male f- friendship, okay, they have a connection yeah. and then they become bros. And even though... <laughs> it's they, so simple, right? Yeah, yeah. it's so <laughs> simple. Uh, but the dynamics are different. I think women, because of our situation mm. that we're going through, especially because we are emotional creatures. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you need to stay away from that friend, not because you don't like them or something. It could be what you're going through as well. I remember during uh, COVID... I stayed away from a lot of friends, mm. a lot of my female friends, male friends. It doesn't matter if you're male, female, LGBTQ, RSTUV. I just stayed away <laughs> because I was going through a very bad period of my life mm. where I almost lost my house. You know, I'm a single mom. Mm-hmm. I had no money. It's not like I'm going to ask my friends for money. Everybody was struggling. A whole entertainment system got shut down yeah. for two years. And for me, it was like, I'm just here to make sure that I'm not out on the street. So right. for me to like go and have steamboat with my f- girlfriends became a chore. Yeah. You know, so I stayed away, not because I don't like them, not because uh, I've grown out of that. It's just because self preservation. Like- yes, because I needed to ensure I was okay first. Right. Because before I went out and. Hey but, friends, let's go for Bridgerton but, IT. But okay, okay, <laughs> that's all fun and fine, you know. But you know, didn't you like um, go to your friends for support? No, in this really dark period, support, moral support, you know, emotional support. One or support. two only, not all, because the more you talk about it, yeah, the more you are like in that run. Mm. I and and what's the point of talking to ten girlfriends? Yeah, if they can't help you because they are still struggling. Yeah. One girlfriend helped me when I told her straight away. It was she was like, "Here, I'm, I'm, I'm forwarding one k to you. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you need to do to survive." And with that one thousand, that's a very good uh, thing. She she gave me that lifeline where I went into doing my roast pork, popo scrap. Yeah. And that business lasted for three years. Even now, people are asking me for my meats, and I say I will only do during Chinese New Year. But she was the only one because I cried and I I broke down. I was sending something to her and then she asked, how are you? And I broke down. Immediately, no question asked. Here, take. give Whatever you want to do with this, just try and survive. Yeah. And then and then she said, just pay me back when you're ready. Mm-hmm. No one's going to do that. Everyone yeah. was struggling. Mm. You know, if you tell them, they're like, oh, I also struggle. I know yeah. what they're going to say. It's not because they don't love you. It's self-preservation. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally mm-hmm. agree. I have a lot of friends and yeah. I have a lot of good female mm-hmm. friends too, but I can count on 
one hand, yep. how many would actually know the absolute real truth mm. about actually what's going on in my life? Yep. Yeah, correct. Oh. I would agree. I would agree mm. to a, mm. a whole hundred percent extent of what Joanne is saying, mm. what you're saying. I mean, we all went through. We started our career when we were really young, mm -mm. you know, and then we were single, and then. When you're single and then you're famous, popular, whatever lah, it takes time to go up. But that's when, boom, suddenly got so many friends. And then yeah. suddenly, tak popular again, you know, boom, go down. And that's when you're down, that's when you know who your friends mm -hmm. are. They're the ones who are going to call you, even to ask, hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Not just, I hope you're okay. That's like very vague. Yeah. So those are the friends that you kind of know. Mm. So I've left... Some friends, I think they've left me too. But I think it's just our growth, yeah. you know, personal growth. Mm -hmm. And you call in and you had Anna. You have no time to like gossip. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, but not, my huh? friendships aren't based on gossip. <laughs> you know? But it's really interesting because with the few friends you do have and yeah. you confide in, sometimes, do you find that this is the case? When you're going through it, like mm. when I went through my divorce, suddenly everyone wanted to know lah what happened. Yeah. And, you know, oh, everyone you suddenly like, don't it? worry, it's not like you're on national <laughs> <laughs> radio. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, suddenly people I haven't spoken to in 10, 15 years are like, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? <laughs> suddenly everyone, you know, but that being said, mm -mm. people who I consider distant acquaintances, they actually showed up for me. Rekindled mm -hmm. lah. Yeah, no, and they, the, the support I got from a few of them, mm. despite not being close, mm. yeah. uh, was really good. Because sometimes when you have things that you want to talk about, you want to talk to someone who's not that close to you. Correct. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. To bounce Agreed. off, I guess, yeah. issues and thoughts and, and mm. you know, whatever crap you want to or talk just about. just listen. To just listen to yeah. it. Someone who's not close to the situation. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you find that? Yeah, the case? betul, betul. Yeah? Because, okay, it's also depending on what they're going through. Mm. So um, I had a similar situation where I was, a couple of years ago, I was getting jobs. Uh, I was doing shows in Marina Bay Sands, MBS mm. Singapore. I got my HBO Asia TV uh, show, you know, and everything came all at once. And then my other girlfriend wasn't doing very well. Mm. Okay. She was trying to, you know, uh, sustain herself. She was getting jobs, but it wasn't big jobs. Mm -hmm. mm. And I felt at that moment, I didn't know how to tell my successes. During that year, a lot of things was going for me, but a lot of things wasn't going for her. You know, some years you are struggling, you're trying to, you know, get your invoices to be paid by your clients, but things were not happening. Mm -hmm. And even though she is not in entertainment, she was kind of like at a limbo situation. And even when I meet her, I didn't want to shout. I, it's not that I shout my successes. Mm -hmm. But you know, when your girlfriend asks you, so what's going on with you? Then yeah. like this, this. And even though they're very happy for you, she was genuinely very happy. You could see, you know, that's a little bit, it's, Jealousy? Sadness? It's not jealousy. Mm, because mm. as a friend, she's supposed to not be jealous. Support, yeah. right? She's she's support. support you, yeah. But that's that little glimmer that I saw like... Hesitation. Mm. Is like, like uh, oh. you know, why can't my life right. be going be like that, right. that way? And yeah. it's not that she vocalized it, but you could feel it. Yeah, yeah. of course. Of yeah. course. So, so, so that's, that's what I said. That's why I say with female friendship, it's more emotional rather yeah. than, hey, let's go and... Get very smashed. true. No, no, very true. We we work we work with our instincts, mm. and I find that as I I'm aging gracefully, <laughs> um, there's that there, there's always that mindfulness that that always reminds what I have within myself. I remind myself, okay, so what's the situation? So I had so many friends before the. MCO and all Before that. pandemic. Yeah, pandemic. And then after pandemic, they would come over. And then suddenly at one point, I just felt like I'm tired. I'm just yeah. tired of this talking about each other. I mean, yes, we talk about good stuff, 
But when the other person is not there, you talk about that person. I felt like is this that is kind toxic. of toxic in your group. Yeah. Yeah. Toxic, yeah. Kalau you tak ada, they cakap pasal yeah. kau. Kalau you ada, they cakap because pasal orang lain. Because the past pandemic, uh-huh. there's nothing else to do, right? Mm-hmm. You start working mm-hmm. and, and, and you talk about each other. That's mm-hmm. when I realised, hang on, I got to put a pause to this and mm-hmm. just... Either I just move on, mm-hmm. I just I just move on. I yeah, just didn't I have think, to explain. You know, myself. as we grow older, mm-hmm. we yeah. change and yeah. our wants change in mm. terms of what who we're close to, who yep. we confide in, mm. and um I guess people we want in our lives. Mm. And then our friendships change as well. Yeah? That's right. We move away from from people who we've known. I mean, look, the two girls <laughs> that I grew up with, they're still in my life. But unfortunately, they're living abroad. So, uh, but there's, you know, there's the internet there, there and everything. There are those friends where you actually meet after so long, kan? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Jumpa, uh, you are friends with them and then after so long, yeah. you don't meet and you still like good friends. You talk like as yeah. though you picked up from where you left off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's those the are best. the best friends. That's yeah. the best. That's the I best. Would agree too. And it's yeah. interesting how... Um, you know, women I've met um, through my career and have gotten close to, um, they provide a different type of yeah. friendship, yes. yeah? Yeah. And you grow close to them as well. Correct. I mean, you were mentioning at the very beginning, mm. female friendship sometimes evolve. Mm. And evolution yeah. or, or evolve is the perfect word because of course you're going to have that girlfriend that, You went to school with, like mm. what you say, they move different countries. Mm-hmm. But when you come together, it feels like, you know, back then all over again. Mm. You don't need to remind each other no, of your boss. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But f- female friendship, we're talking mm. about female friendship. The evolution of female friendship. I also realized that you do know at every phase in your life, your path changes, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, for me, when I started out being in entertainment, I was still that very lost 18-year-old. Even in Boom Boom Room, I was still lost. It was I was 22, 23 mm. when I started. A lot of people still thought a that... a virgin. Yeah, still in the industry. virgin. Yeah. <laughs> Among other things. A lot of people cannot, uh, cannot believe that I was the virgin before. But I was. But yeah, but yeah. at that time... Being in that environment, the mm-hmm. club environment, at 23, yes. a lot of people didn't realize I was no. that young. Yeah. yeah, I had to grow up fast. And the issue with growing up fast is sometimes your life lessons belong mature, you know, mm. haven't matured. Mm. So now at, at this stage, I'm 50 and I'm loving this age because I'm at that age yeah. where I know I'm powerful. I know I'm confident. And I know I'm fucking sexy. You're so brave. Then, yeah, so there's no more internal yeah. dialogue. Yeah. Like, eh, you know, uh, uh, my girlfriend can get husband. My girlfriend got baby. Uh, my girlfriend got movie. So what? Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I need hmm. to take my own achievements yeah. into, as, account. into yeah. account. And I think a lot of female friendship, even though they don't want to pinpoint They're always fighting among themselves. Mm. It's a compar- rivalry. I say comparison is yes, the thief of the worst, joy, you know. Yeah. Yes. And, and in a lot of female friendships, that mm. has a big factor in why things go sour. Betul tak? Betul. I think comparison is just a bad thought that's just behind your yeah. head, going. You're judging your your own self, really. Mm. That's why you give it out to people. Yeah. So if you feel you're ugly, that's why you say, "Are you? Why you look so tired?" I feel like this line is just like too much. Whenever mm. I see somebody, mm. somebody will say, oh, you look so tired. I said, no, I'm happy. I love myself. Mm-hmm. I look great. I just change it all over again. Because yeah. before this, I would say, yeah lah, I'm tired. Why, mm. why admit to something that, you know, and sometimes words can be quite sh- painful. You know, I know they mean well, but at the same time, it's like, could it also be generation? Yeah. Because... That's what Again, our right. aunties and mothers mm. and the families do when they meet each other for all these big social events. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when yeah. I say that generation, you must understand, we're all almost 50 or mm. some even more. Mm. Yeah. So we're talking about our mothers and grandmothers. If you notice, that generation is all about gossip, mm. all about, oh, your son go what school? Married already or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how come yeah. no more children? Uh? Uh, how come no more children? <laughs> you know, and because we are living in yeah. the 
in Asia, mm-hmm. unfortunately, we can't run away from those kiasunas, kiasunas or whatever. <laughs> so perhaps Correct. women our yeah. generation have been taught to, you know, look at yeah. how our peers. Yeah. Yeah, w- yeah. We're doing, and even though all these aunties are friends, yes, <laughs> they're frenemies as well. <laughs> frenemies as well. So indirectly, even though you yeah. don't want to portray yeah. to be that friends that's jealous, yeah, tapi ada lah sikit. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? I this whole um, frenemy thing. I'd rather not have it. I'd rather Me not. Too, be I don't believe in that anymore. And I have cut people out of my life for. Nope. I wouldn't say for less or for for little little things, and they and they're not even earth shattering things as well. But it's that you outgrow them, or they do something that pisses you off, or you mm. just you you know you're not on the same path anymore. How um, I mean, I'm sure we've all been there at some point yeah. with some people. How do how did you kind of um, deal with the? I guess the the breakup of a friendship, a female friendship, because it is a relationship mm. and it does stuff. Yeah, well, for me, it's happened a couple of times. Um, I'm not gonna make this person feel like it's all to glory, but I realized that um, if you can't tell mm. it straight to my face, mm. and you've you've you have the nerve of talking behind my back, and then I have the nerve of actually confronting this person, I feel like. For me, it's it's a good clarification that I need to do this because if I don't do this, I won't know what's coming out from her. So when she finally didn't want to see me or didn't even want to say anything about it, I just feel like, mm. you know what? Mm. It's okay. Because I have this problem of like sometimes pleasing people. Yeah. Until today, right? But it's lesser now. People please her, they call it, right? But I feel like, you know what? It's okay, you know, and after all of this, it's like if they don't remember the things that you've done for them, mm-hmm. they don't really value or actually just say, you know, thank you so much for helping me out. I'm not mm. asking for all of that at all, but it's just to say our relationship is much more important than any kind of gossip or whatever. If if that doesn't clarify or justify this mm. whole situation, I will just, angkat kaki blah. There's no need for me to explain yeah. why or what. I know it's a bit, it's not rude, but I think it's my... For my own mental health as well, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I what think about you? Just, like what you said, it's self-preservation, yeah. but also put a pause on it. Yeah, mm. Friendship doesn't mean you have to break up. Yeah, Break up yeah. is such a strong word. Yeah. I think, especially for female friendship, there's no breakup. It's always, you take a pause on it. And when mm-hmm. you're able to, if there is a chance for you guys to, to balay, right? yeah. balay, mm-hmm. reconnect, reconnect. Mm. And you know, a pause could be a couple of years. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. A pause could be a couple oh, yes. of years <laughs> until both of you are at a state where you can align. Yes, and it right. is a relationship. Yes. It is a relationship. It Sometimes they are going through a certain situation in their life or it could be even work that happened that uh, like a stressful period mm-hmm. uh, where, where both of you are in the different... Both of you are on different planets. Mm. So one could feel like you never understand them. Or mm. another one could feel that, you know, you've not shown any appreciation. But actually, both the people who are feeling are feeling it on their own. Mm-hmm. And you don't know what the situation mm. is going in their life. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been together for a couple of months, like at, at mm. least two months. Mm. We're starting back the podcast. We're readjusting our, uh, uh, diff- our lives mm. because, of course all of us got different projects and all Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So we took a little pause, but when we come back, we're like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this together. The aim is Mm -hmm. aligned. But that doesn't mean your life stops when you put a pause. You know, Mm -hmm. you come back, I could be in a new situation. Mm -hmm. You have a new Mm -hmm. situation. You have a new offer. Mm -hmm. Right now, life changes. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you go for readings, even when you're looking at your palm, we were just right? talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just talking about tarot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, every five years, your lifeline changes. changes. Yeah. Yeah. Does it? Yes. yes. Wow. Because it depends on your journey. Mm, okay. So it, you, you're growing. So this one is also growing. Everything yeah, is changing. Yeah, every I five believe years. In that too. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty generous. I mean, I'm a Capricorn and everything is like <laughs> pretty black and white, you know. Mm. But mm. yes, I, I, what you said was really wise, mm. actually. 
to take a pause and whatnot. Yeah, not just, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater. No, you don't throw mm. that, you know. Sometimes uh, you do. Sometimes right? you do. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if there is no way to reconcile, mm. always understand that mm. what you're going through, the other yeah. person could be going in a different tangent. Right. And if yeah. no one, if nobody, okay, what I feel with women friendship, they don't tell each other what's going on. It's only gossip. If they gossip That's about- a problem. So yeah. and so and so, oh, banyak kata, katanya banyak. And even, so even though talk. sometimes I feel mm. like some, sometimes I get people ask me, so how are you, Joe? I'm like, you want the normal answer? <laughs> <laughs> like you want the truth. Oh, you, you want the, the truth. Yeah. If you want the yeah. truth, I don't think you got time. But yeah. like, yeah. like, like seriously, you know? Yeah. So that's why people say, yeah, I'm okay. But I, I, interesting what you just said about a line. Mm -hmm. I believe in um, this whole energy, right? So if the stars are not aligned and you're not meant to be, you can, I, I'm, I'm still not talking to this person for almost like two, three years already. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it can go on and on and on. But if the stars are not aligned, even though we're neighbors, <laughs> if we're not, you know, <laughs> we're not even, you know, that's it. But yeah. it's just that. I think I found better friends. Mm -hmm. The the new mm. ones. Even you guys yeah. have helped me out a lot during my so-called who's that days, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's when I realized these are the real sisters. Yeah. You know, Joanne and Shaz are the real sisters. Okay, yeah. yeah, we might disagree and you know, we might like talk about silly things or like talk about work, but it's fine. By the end of the day, you know who your friends are. So those are the friends yeah. that you have to keep. You gotta got yeah. hold on to and just just keep in touch. Don't be lazy to like, yeah. you know, just because we feel like, oh, the ego should just be aside and we're all aligned. If not, mm. okay, too bad. So what are some healthy ways to navigate conflict in a friendship? You know, disagreements. Put a pin on it. Confront. Huh? Yeah. She I confront. agree with confrontation. Confrontation. Mm. You need to be prepared. Mm. Mm. I would say keep it respectful. Yes. But mm. confront. confront. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't confront, mm -hmm. it'll eat at you. Yeah. Mm. And then take a pause. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Do you think it's possible to come out stronger as friends after a major disagreement? Um, I think so. I mean, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Mm, yeah. They they can feel like in a friendship, I feel we shouldn't compare who's a better friend. Mm -mm. You know, this is the problem with some women out there, the people that I've known, I don't right. know about you guys, but I feel like uh, we're not competing with each other. So we don't have to compare oh what you've got and what i've got and this and that then then it just mm. becomes a little bit of a like that you know yeah like mm. but i like friends who are not even in, the, in my industry i have many friends who are not even yeah. in the industry which i find that they don't know nothing uh, at all about what yeah. i'm doing apart from what i post which is nice and they don't ask they don't even ask about my work which is nice it's just about how my health and my mental health is, mm -mm. you know, it's just, yeah. hey, you want to go for this retreat? I'm like, yeah, I'd love to. Or they give me some spiritual wellness retreat, which I go and then I come back. You go on a wellness retreat, it's nice because the last, the first that I went to was just amazing. I met like this 10 beautiful women from all over the world mm -mm. and they, they know nothing. We know nothing about each other. They know nothing about me. Which was really good. It's you very know, so you start refreshing. fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's very refreshing. Yeah. Like, and don't be afraid to make you friends. Know, make yeah. friends uh, because your sisterhood will up. always be there. Yeah. yeah. Your sisterhood will always yeah. be there. And just like sisters, yeah. just like family, mm. sometimes, yeah. you know, you just need to be away from each other. It's not that you're, you've broke, broken up. Mm. Yeah. Just put a pin on it, yeah. you know, and find the. Find the joy of making new friends, new friends, yes, new I connection. Yeah, because yeah. like recently as well, I've yeah. made like three to four very good friends from uh, the the talk that I gave. Mm. You know, and they showed up. They came for the Wow Show. Mm -hmm. We are out there having drinks, having Mama yes, session. Yes, wellness yeah. comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, great. Wellness comedy is yeah. another one. But just know that. If you put yourself out there to just connect mm. sincerely, mm. Yes. you will find women mm. who who also have that vibe. Haven't I you agree. gone to a party and all of a sudden met this stranger who knows nothing about you? Yeah. You know? 
who have not Googled you. Yeah. And yes. then all of a sudden, you're like... And you start dancing. Yeah. Girls start dancing and you know that there's a connection. And there's a connection there. Right. So, so for me, friendship, female friendship should evolve. Mm. How do you sustain that though? Okay, you meet someone at a party Mm-mm. and you guys hit it off Mm-mm. and you, you're like, oh, I love her. She could be my best friend. And then the next day, you think about it like, what was that about? And then you try and connect. Do you, do you find yeah. that the wavelength is still there? Or of course. you. But you Was need, it just a high No, you need moment? to make effort. <laughs> make effort. You need to yeah, make yeah, effort. Yeah. Mm. I mean, the dating apps are going to be there. If you don't <laughs> swipe, you're not going to connect. No. Yeah. So you need to make yeah. effort. Like, okay, like I did a show a couple of months ago, my friend's birthday party. Yeah. After the show, uh, this German uh, t- uh, lady came and she, and she was just on holiday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was a single mom as well. And we connected. Then, uh, what do you call this? The next couple of days, we went out for dinner. Uh-huh. Then her last day here, we went out for dinner. And that was it. And she's still messaging me from Germany. Mm-hmm. You know? So some connections. Mm-hmm. You got to nurture. You got to... Yeah, and when yeah. I mean nurture, it doesn't have to be yeah. every day. Yeah. If you connect, connect, and it's up to you. Do we? Do I want to? Mm-hmm. I find it interesting. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. And it's it's honestly, what I'm saying is that female friendships are such that don't close your doors. Mm. Yeah. There's so many sisters mm, out there. Yeah. And so again, many. you are hitting different type of women mm-hmm. at your level. At different playing fields. Mm. Don't be afraid to grow. Even as a woman, you grow. Yeah. Who I am when I was 22 is very different from who I am now at 50. You're better yeah. now. Yeah, so I'm better much now. better. Yeah. But I also want to be able to communicate yeah. with people who understand me. Yeah. Yes. You know, at my level. Mm. You know, when I say, okay, I've got this product, and sometimes you'll be surprised when I talk to them, like, okay, I have this issue. Da, da, da. And women that is doing the same things that I am doing, mm-hmm. how they assess that information, how they give me, uh, not assessment, um, it's more like how they understand the issue mm-hmm. and the advice that they give was so different mm-hmm. from all my other girlfriends that I had. Mm. And I realized nice. that because of at the level where I am and I projected like I want to make friends with people who understand and at my level. Mm -hmm. So I've attracted this friendship. Yeah. You know, and these are powerful women. So when they gave me advice, it's not like, oh, maybe you, it's not maybe. Yeah, they're not enabling you. It's not enabling, it's like, okay, you should do this, 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 this. Mm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Because Mm. they've gone through that. Yeah. So it's like buying a house. Yep. All right, like yeah. buying a house. Mm. So you go to your friends and like, oh, no, like the pain, la, the this, la. Oh, yeah, I don't know. then you meet this new group of friends say, um, I think I'm buying a house. I want to buy this one. Then they come in. No, actually, you see, in five years, then this is going to go down because this, 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 because mm. they already have that knowledge. Yeah. So when they advise you, it's not like, hmm, tak suka the ding ding. <laughs> they're wise, la. they're wise. Yeah, women. because the they're at that wise, level. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. seek people yeah. who are at that level yeah. where they will push you where forward you have good for your next journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. So what would you say is the most important, uh, I guess, relationship lesson you've learned along the years when it comes to your female friendships? Um, for me, the most important thing is to see whether we gel or not. Mm. You know, the connection of like, First instinct is all about uh, whether we trust and we, whether we're honest with each other. Mm-hmm. Even though it sucks, you have to tell them the truth. This mm-hmm. is the thing. These are the friends for me who's, who's lasted until today. The ones who've been here are the ones, the ones that I can only count with one hand, are the ones that I can tell them, hey, can I tell you the truth? Huh? Yeah. I don't like this, 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 this. But anyway, by the end of the day, it's up to you. And then they will tell the same thing to me. Mm-hmm. I said, but please... By the end of the day, it's up to you. So these are the friends that I love, you know, that I just feel like I cherish so much because Mm-mm. they give me good advice. They tell me 
look, you're going through your perimenopause. What are you going to do about it? So I'm on HRT. Life is so much better when Miss Perry is not around. You know, it's all great. And I'm loving it. Mm. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just the fact that they are so honest. So we have to know when to listen to our instincts. I'm an yes. instinct person. That's why I, I write, I call myself the melody maker because I write everything is from the heart. In the kitchen, in the toilet, wherever it is. It's like for me, my inspiration is everywhere. In the car. But when I like it and I let some friends listen to it, are those friends that I really, really trust, mm -hmm. who's got no judgment, who's just going to yeah. go, this is going to be a hit. B, no la, this is no good la. B, we call each other B la. B, no la. This is, uh, you know, so it's, those are the friends that I feel like, God, just give it to me. So I will keep them yeah. for real. What about yeah. you, Joanne? Um, I think for me, with female friendship, when you're at the state where maybe you cannot stand each other. <laughs> no, but it's true. I mean, Learn not, to let not, go. Not, not, not everything is going to be flowers. Yeah. yeah. When you can't stand each other, it doesn't mean mm. that the other person is wrong or that you are wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe both of you are going through certain situation. Mm -hmm. uh, stay away for a while. Either you confront, get it all out, mm. and don't be afraid to do that, but you, you need to be in a safe place to do mm -hmm. that mm. as well so that both of you understand where the other person is coming from. Yeah. And if you need to take a pause, take a pause. Not a break, a pause, and then mm. come back. Yeah. I think the most important thing is we all throw this, oh, you must respect me, respect me, respect me. But a lot of times I feel, even with respect, oh, people, like women want you to respect them. Mm -hmm. But if, let's say, you find a way that act, you don't respect the other party or mm -hmm. perhaps the other party has a certain mindset that you don't agree on, it doesn't mean they're bad or it doesn't mean that you are bad. <coughs> It just means that both of you are at different phases in your life. So for me, it's always about, let's try and understand the person from where they are. Yeah. And if you need to, take a pause. Because perhaps taking a pause mm -hmm. could save the friendship. Mm -hmm. And number three, very important, don't be afraid of new friendships. Correct. Yeah. Because you never know. It could... It could be from a past life. That's why we, both of you are so connected. Oh, I believe yeah. in that. Yeah. Past um, life. I feel like there are friends who, not even friends, sometimes strangers who just come mm -hmm. and then just tell you things. For me, because I, mm -hmm. I'm i pretty much out there on TV or whatever, and then people who just come on a bad day or whatever, they make you feel good. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, hey, you look so good lah, without makeup. And then mm -hmm. it's just that urge of like, Hi, you know, what's your mm -hmm. name? Where are you from? I just start talking to them. And there's one or two friends. I'm actually mm -hmm. friends with them. We go yeah. yoga. We do this together. They're just random people. Yeah. I would agree to everything that you say yeah. because we have to be open. Relationship is in everything, not just with your career, with people, mm -hmm. with women, yeah. with your friends. Um, Tell us. Pretty good, mm. I would say. And I agree with you about discernment. You know, sometimes things mm. feel off. Confrontation yeah. is a good thing if you can all keep it dignified and respectful. Uh, I agree with you about, you know, taking a pause on mm. things to kind of regroup and preserve oneself. I agree with you with making new friends, though I'm very bad at um, uh, keeping that new friendship alive. Mm. I mean, I, I met this wonderful woman at a literary um, festival a couple of years ago, we hit it off. She was like my soulmate. And after the festival ended, we kept in touch for a while on social media. We still send each other memes, mm -hmm. but it's like, that's it. Lah. I mm. mean, I, I hope to see her again mm -hmm. someday. And I know that mm -hmm. if we were to meet up, I'm sure we would, you know, continue to have mm -hmm. a really nice friendship going, but you know, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. With this acquaintance. For now, level. for now, mm. for now. But it's a blessing, you know. It when is you a blessing. Everyone you, know, you meet I is a blessing. Like, yeah. Well, not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> not everyone. <laughs> well, I find that it's it's very positive, actually. It's a blessing mm. that these people show their true colors too. Mm. So for me, it's always a blessing. Yeah. Uh, you can show your true colors and we can not understand each other. That's yeah. that's a blessing. Then you know, 
Okay lah. Mm. God bless you lah. You go lah. Mm. <laughs> My life. I'm still here. Okay. Yeah. Well, whether you are in a friendship relationship mm, yeah. for a reason, a season, or for life, uh, enjoy the journey as yeah. you move on with yeah. your girlfriends. Yeah.